Welcome everyone. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm Colby and today we are going to be continuing our tailoring adventure with our tops. Today is the fish and the animals edition. Yes, it is going to be great. Okay, here we go. Now I've organized things into a sort of list for ourselves where we'll get a few different things that will get us um, shirts based on like animal products like mayonnaise, milk, wool, and then we'll also get some fish. Now, I think for the most part, we're going to be getting our fish from either our fish ponds at home, maybe, or our storage. They're so hard to get, so I don't want to take our time just fishing all day for them, so I'm going to, I'm going to steal them from my storage. Okay, first things first, we're going to go, oh, our ancient wine is ready. Okay, we'll worry about that later. We're going to go to some of our houses, our things around here. Look at that beautiful place. And see if we can get any objects around here. Now, I know that we are going to need one egg. So, boom, we have an item already. Now, we only need one. So, I'm just going to put the rest in here. Because I do think we're going to need, like, some mayonnaise for stuff. So, here we go. Now we have our egg. Let's go down here. We do need some duck mayonnaise, but we also need a duck egg. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to get a duck egg today because the ducks are also in this house. So we'll try that another day. But we do have some duck mayonnaise, so that's great. But how many did we get? Just one? Okay. So we have an egg and some duck mayonnaise. That's great. We're getting a few things. Yes, this area is also beautiful. Okay. Awesome. We're getting quite a few. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too many things here. Okay, so we do need some goat milk. Um, we don't need that many goat milks, though. Let me put some of these away. It doesn't really matter what size goat milk we get, but we do need different sizes of regular milk. So, let's put these away. And I want to make sure I keep one, so let's just do this one. Okay. And put my last gold mug there. Okay, so now we have... Oh, you know what? We need a regular size gold mug and a large goat mug. Oh my gosh, just like the, the milk milk. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, in here. Uh-huh. Regular milk and regular goat milk. Wow. I can't believe I have that. <laughs> I didn't think I would find that anywhere. That's actually kind of hard to get. Okay. Let's go down here. We don't have any boy chickens anymore, so we'll have to get that elsewhere. But we can use a truffle. Awesome. You can also use truffle oil, but it's obviously cheaper to just use truffle. Okay, we do need wood as well. Um... Okay, so I'm getting confused a little bit with some of my stuff. So let me put a few things back here. Um, my milk. I have too much milk. I could put some milk in here, can't I? Okay, put that away. I'm gonna put all of this away. All of this. And I'll keep one large milk because I can use a large milk. Now I have a large milk and a regular milk. Let me put them side by side in my pocket. Things are getting a little crazy around here. Large goat, regular goat, large milk, regular milk, and the truffle, and the wool. Look, I even have another regular milk. I don't need that though. I do need, do I need this? Yes, I need some goat cheese. I'll just take one. So I'll take one of my goat cheeses, which is great. And then I also need, do I need a regular cheese? I don't have a regular cheese written anywhere, but I feel like I would need that. I'm just gonna take one. You know what? I'm just gonna take one and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll put my regular milk back, okay. Now, we do need some regular mayonnaise. But we'll have to get that later. Okay, here's regular wool. Oh, we don't actually need the truffle oil. Let me let me just put that back. Ooh, the cloth we do need. I was gonna say we don't need any cloth. Yes, we do. We need cloth for just regular 
Um, making regular clothes, Megan. All right. I don't. Okay, I don't need the truffle oil. That's right. Now let me go back up here and see. I needed. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so in my pockets I have one large egg. I also need a regular egg though. I think. Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to get one here. I forgot that we need large sizes and regular sizes of everything. So a regular size egg might be something that we're gonna have to get later. I don't know if I have one. Let's check inside here though. Maybe I have something in my fridge. No, these are all large. Okay, I don't need that. But what I do have in here is a mayonnaise, so why don't I just take one? I am making some, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. I do need a duck feather. I didn't get that either. Hmm. I need a void egg. Okay, let's go over here. So, this is where I'm gonna start borrowing a few things. Now, let's see. Do I need a dinosaur egg? I don't think so. But what I do need is a duck feather. So, why don't I take one of these? Because I also have five duck feathers that are over here that I don't need. I have way too many. I, I like to keep like five of everything. Then what else do I have? I need a void egg. Got that. I need a rabbit's foot. I have many of these too. I'll just take this one. You know what? No, I won't. I'm gonna take the gold star. Great. And I have a rabbit's foot. And you see, I need a regular size egg, but I don't even have any in here. That might be something I have to worry about later. I'll just take a duck egg from here. That was going to be something I thought I might get tomorrow, but you know what? That's fine. And I also need some coffee, so why don't I just take my coffee from this part of my pocket? The one over here. Okay, so while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and make our first batch of shirts. Because we have everything from our animals that we can get, except for the, f the stupid regular sized egg. So don't worry about it. We're not going to focus on the egg. Okay. But we are going to be making some shirts. Now we're going to go down my list in order. Just like usual. So we don't lose track of anything. Yes, our first shirt. I'm just going to put it down there. Then we're gonna get some duck mayonnaise. So the first one was just regular mayonnaise. Now we're gonna do duck mayonnaise. Yes. Awesome. These shirts look fun, don't they? <laughs> now we have a duck feather. It looks kind of like a green shirt. Then we have some goat milk. Just the regular size. Let's see what the difference is between the regular size goat milk and the large. So that's sort of like a blue striped shirt with the regular size goat milk. And the large one is like the same shirt, but it's a little bit darker, I guess. Next we have some wool, some cloth with a wool pattern. Just makes sort of a white shirt, I guess. Then we can do our regular milk. Yes, nice shirt there, <laughs> I guess. Then a void egg. Ooh, yes. Now I'll do some goat cheese. So I don't see regular cheese on here, but could do it. Goat cheese, then a rabbit's foot. Awesome. So we're going to skip the regular egg because I don't have that. So we'll just go to the large milk. So that is very similar to the one that was the regular milk. It's like it doesn't have a t-shirt under it. Okay, here's the large egg. A lot of white shirts we have here. Okay, now we need a duck egg. Maybe this will be like a off-white shirt? Nope. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was kind of funny. Okay, that was the duck egg. Now we need one coffee. Oh, th that one's kind of cute. And the last one is a truffle. I also got that regular cheese because I thought I was going to need it, but I don't think I'm going to do that one. So let's try on our first batch of shirts. These are all the ones from our animals. And then we'll do the ones from our fish after this. 
So we got a cardigan. A soft button up sweater cardigan. Then a shirt. It looks like it has like a smiley face on it. A green jacket shirt. It can be dyed. That's cool. A pour over shirt. A familiar zigzag pattern that adorns the shirt. A plain shirt. It's a simple one. I like this coffee one. I don't think I tried it on. Yeah, I did. A pour over shirt. Familiar zigzag. A shirt. <laughs> We love a plain shirt, don't we? Sleeveless overalls that can be dyed. I wonder how you dye them. I've never actually dyed anything. A wearable shirt. Keep putting things in my trash on accident. Dark bandana shirt. A shirt with a dark bandana on it. It is kind of like a brown color. A wearable shirt. It's got a low neckline, that one. Ooh. A wearable shirt. This one's white with like little dots on it. It's kind of creepy. This one is a lime green striped shirt. Not bad. An aquamarine shirt. I love that blue. A little cloud there. White overalls. I think that one was the milk and the large milk. The sleeveless overalls and the regular. And then this one is the light blue shirt, which is very similar to this aquamarine shirt with the cloud. And I think that was the goat milk, the large and the regular. All right, so let's put our regular shirt back on. This is one that we made not too long ago. And we can bundle up our other shirts. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'll just put, which one? How about one of these cloud ones? Sure. And I'll just put all of these shirts here for now. There we go. Nice. And so our next thing that we're gonna do is get some fish. So this is where I like to keep all of my fish. Nothing crazy here, is it? <laughs> um, so the only thing is I wish that I didn't have to use these because I like to keep like five of each item, but whatever. So first thing we're gonna need is either a sea cucumber or a super cucumber. And it looks like we have more super cucumbers than regular ones. So I'm gonna use a super cucumber for that one. Now the next top that we get, we can get quite a few things for. So we can do a bull head, we can do a carp. So I'm wondering maybe if I need a different area. Okay, so here's a carp. I like to keep five of everything and I have six carps, so I'll just take a carp. And I remember they're actually pretty easy to find. So the next one, I can get bream, a catfish, dorado. I don't think I can get a perch. Let's see. I can also use a rainbow trout. What's over here? This is all the rainbow trout. I think the rainbow trout wasn't too hard to find either. So I'm going to take some rainbow trout. Then I can do some seaweed. I know that's in this chest. Seaweed isn't too hard to find either. So I'm not worried about taking an extra one. Um, we actually don't need too many more fish. So that's fine. Oop, we don't, we're not going to need anything in that bin. Now, one of the next ones we can do is gonna be more tropical, like all of these fish. So let's see, what, what might be a good one to do here? Um, the blue discus are actually pretty easy to find. So I think I'm gonna take a blue discus. Then the next one, we could do a crayfish, a periwinkle, or a snail. Now all of that stuff you get in the little crab pots. So I think periwinkle was pretty easy to find. Um, so I'm gonna take a periwinkle, but I remember snails being easy too. Actually, I'm gonna do a snail because if the shirt is themed after the snail, oop, not five, then I think I want it to be themed after the snail rather than the periwinkle. Now this one I can do a crab for or I can do a clam or a mussel or an oyster. Maybe I'll do a mussel because mussels are pretty easy to get too. Okay, so this one, the next two, I have only one option for. So unfortunately I have to pick that. The first one is a 
Let's see if I can find it. Da, 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 da. The first one is a salmon. Oh, that's a void salmon. Well, the first one's a salmon. I wonder if we, maybe we don't have any. I would be really surprised. Cause I thought I had everything. Oh, here it is. Oh, we don't have a lot of salmon. Oopsies, definitely need to get more. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. And then the other one is an octopus. And I remember octopus being quite hard to find too. See, I only have three. So octopus, salmon, I've got to keep that in mind for something that I might need to get a little bit more of in the future. Now we can also use green algae or white algae. Is that the right bin? Oh, I think I just pressed the bottom one on accident. So I think we're going to do some white algae just because we have so much of it. And then this one, we need some like trash for. So we're going to have to go on a little adventure for some trash. And then I also have written down that we can get glass shards, but I don't actually remember... Um, getting glass shards from like a fish thing. I think it's like an artifact, but it is, is it fish related? I don't know. Glass shards, you get it. Oh, well you could get it fishing in a treasure chest or you can get it in an artifact trove. So I think we're just gonna ignore that one. Let's ignore it. So this one, we're gonna need some trash of sorts. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get this trash. Oops, I accidentally picked up the crab pot. I hate when that happens. Okay. Nice! Alright, so I believe we've gotten every item from the fish. Let's see how easy it was when we are already have all of them in our storage. Now, let's go back home. I know I kind of walked a bit, but let's just zoom over now that we're here. Okay! And let's go up to our closet. We have to change in our closet, don't we? I really need to decorate in here. And let's make everything. So, last time we put our cloth here. And we're gonna go in order again, just so we don't lose track of anything. So the first one is our super cucumber, or you know, you could do a sea cucumber. <gasps> it's a dark purple. I think if I did the sea cucumber, it would have been yellow. So I like this better. Now we're gonna do a carp. Okay. Kind of like a little fisherman style jacket. Now we have a rainbow trout. I think I'm gonna like the fish shirts. They're a lot more unique than the other ones. Here's some seaweed. Ah, oh, they're all looking so cute. Look at that seaweed shirt, it looks crazy. All right, now a blue discus. Let's see what color this is. I love it. So I bet if you did some of the other fish that were on this list, it would be a different color. But because I did a blue discus, it's kind of light blue and white. I love it. I love it. All right, so after the blue discus, we have our snail. And we thought about doing the periwinkle, but we decided on the snail. Hmm, that one's yellow. It's kind of a surprise. Okay, so here's a mussel. It's our next one. Kind of a dark gray shirt, I guess. Okay, so let's do the octopus next. Ooh, like a dark blue. And then we have salmon. That one's very similar. These are very similar to each other, the octopus and the salmon. Interesting. Okay, so let's see some white algae. I think it'll be a light color. It is. So if we did the dark green algae, it'll probably be darker. And now we can do some trash. Boom. And it's like a dark, dark gray color. What a surprise. Let's try on all of our clothes. We have so many new clothes. It's just wonderful. Ooh, the first one's a tube top. Look at those shoulders. My gosh, we don't see our shoulders. Look at the fishing vest. Wow, we could totally wear this if we're gonna be fishing all day. We don't really go on fishing adventures much though. Here's a fishing shirt with a little fish logo. Kelp shirt. Interesting, we use seaweed. A sailor shirt. A raincoat, classic yellow. Here's another sailor shirt. This one's dyeable, okay. So it's similar to that white one. A faded denim shirt. So you might not have to make the sailor shirt because it's dyeable. You might not have to use a blue discus to get that color. You could just dye it. Here's a blue buttoned vest. 
We only have a couple shirts left, and then we've done all the ones in the fishing and the animals. There's the collared shirt. And the last shirt that we've made today is the trash can shirt. Nice. Okay, let's put our overalls back on. Great job, everybody. Oop, we don't want to throw away our trash shirt. We want to keep our trash shirt. That's the point, isn't it? So let's put all of our shirts away. These are all of the shirts that we made today. Let's see how what happens when we organize. Sometimes things don't organize how I think they will. Like you think that this shirt, the faded denim, and the regular shirt would be next to each other because they look so similar. They're just a slightly different color, but alas, they're far. So the only other thing that we didn't get was the egg because we don't have a regular egg. So I'll keep that in mind. If we happen to find a regular egg, I'll make the shirt just in my own time and then put it here for you all in this in this beautiful bin. And I think I'm going to decorate my closet at some point. So if you have any ideas for me, let me know. Maybe I could rearrange these bins a bit. I could probably start putting a few together like this bin. I don't, it's not full because it was like, a themed I think this was my crops one and then this one was another theme wow they're so pretty so I might just start keeping the bins full like you see okay so that was my tailoring video with my fish and my animals theme I think we did great we did um, 28 total shirts I believe so great job everybody we have a couple more left and then we'll have tailored all of our tops and our closet will be officially full unless we buy some more things, you know. And maybe make some stuff with prismatic shards, which I don't think I'm going to do. Anyways, thank you so much for visiting my channel and staying until the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. And I'll see you on Tuesday or Friday for the next video.